Hi game devs, this is JNM again with a new Unity tutorial. In this one, I will show you how to add a health bar to my low poly game asset. Here we have the canvas with the inventory and the message panel. And the first thing I do is to add a new empty game object to it. And this will be the parent, the root object of the health bar. I set the size to let's say 330 and then you can move it to any position you like. I move it here to the upper left hand corner and anchor it, but as I said, this is just the container. What I'm going to do now is to add an image for the background and I use a plain white one, really very simple. And I set it to be fully stretched so that it fills the root object. For the color, I use a red tone. Okay, the left, top, right and bottom are set to zero and then it kind of snaps to the dimensions of the root object. And now you can see I can select the health bar, the root object and move it around on my canvas as I like. So this is the background, now I duplicate this object by pressing Ctrl and D. And this second image will be the bar to display the health of the player. The color of this one are set to green. And what I also do is to set the image type to fill. Then again set the position values left, top, right and bottom to zero, so that it snaps to the parent. For the fill method I choose horizontal and when I change the fill amount now you can see that we already have a default health bar functionality. Alright, again duplicate the image to create a new one above the other ones. And this is a border for which I also created a simple sprite. The color of this border I set to gray. And when I resize the health bar component, you can see that this border keeps its size at a constant value. It always has a width of 3 pixels. So let's open the sprite editor to see why this is the case. I set the sprite border to 3, which is exactly the size of the painted border and this means when I resize the image, this outer part stays as is. Okay, the last UI component that I'm going to add is a text to display the percentage of the player's health. I select a white color and center it, and the size of the text I set to best fit. Okay, and now our health by UI is completed. Perhaps I will increase the height a bit, like so, and then I'll start the game to see it in a preview. Okay, not bad, simple but very clear and flexible. But what is missing, of course, is the script. So let's edit a C -sharp script called healthbar. I assign the script by dragging it to the healthbar component and then I double click and open it in Visual Studio. So let's start coding. The first thing we need are public member variables. I need a variable for the image of the health bar and one for the text. They are defined in the Unity Engine UI namespace and I have to include this. What I also need is a range for the values that I can use. 
so I define a minimum and maximum. And then I need private variables to store the value and the percentage. The value is an integer and the percentage is of type float. And now I'll create a method to define the current health. First I check if the health parameter of the method isn't the same, because if they are equal, we don't have to update the component. But if the health will change, we are going to update the value and the percentage and of course the UI. But first I will check if the difference between maximum and minimum is zero, because we have to calculate a percentage and we don't want to divide by zero. In the else case, I store the current value, the current health, and the current percentage. These values I use to update my UI. I assign the current percentage, multiplied by 100, to the text of the text health component. There's a nice helper method called round to int to round this float value to an integer. And I use the string format method to create a formatted text. And to scale the health bar image, I just assign the current percentage to the fill amount. Okay, that's it. I define the two private members value and percentage as public getter properties. Perhaps we will need them later on when we implement the real game logic. Then I switch back to the Unity editor and assign the image and the text component to the public members of the health bar script. The minimum are set to 0 and the maximum to 100. But to be able to test this, I go to the start method and call the setHealth method to define a sample value. And then I press the play button. And here we go, it seems to work. So guys, that's it for today. You don't need to re-implement this on your own. Of course you can if you like to, but I uploaded this asset to the asset store and it will be available for free. Currently it is in the review process. In the next part I will add the logic so that the player is taking damage, for example when he's standing in the fire like here. So stay tuned to not miss the next part and don't forget to subscribe. So thanks for watching, thanks for your support and see you soon here on JNM.